Greetings Neo-Swedenborgians. I'm here at Winnemac Park in Chicago. Um, I used to often broadcast from here and um, I'm in the old neighborhood so I thought I would do another one. Um, and the subject is what does it mean or what is it like to be a Neo-Swedenborgian? Uh, what it means, what's it like to be a Neo-Swedenborgian? It means that you are on the ground floor of an immense world. And it, both on the ground floor in terms of time and space. Because you are at the beginning of this journey which starts on the surface of the Earth. So the surface of the Earth is the ground floor and then when you when you leave this earth meaning your body dies your spirit leaves your body and you start up in these floors in a kind of uh j hewitt mckenzie kind of template so uh i've referred to this map of j hewitt mckenzie on a number of occasions and uh, in a strange, as of yet unexplained coincidence, J. Hewitt McKenzie in the year 1916 describes in miles um, the exact dimensions of the Van Allen belts. Now, I don't know how this came about. It's a mystery. It is an unsolved mystery. Uh, so what he describes as the spirit lands, the dimensions are precisely, because he gives dimensions in miles in 1916, the dimensions are precisely those of the Van Allen belts. So I've said before, the Van Allen belts are heaven. It's a strange conclusion that I didn't, did not expect to come to. It's something that unfolded while I've been making this. I mean, I started out in number one. Number one, I in the very number one of these videos, I visited this park. Uh, and prior to visiting the park, I read from J. Hewitt McKenzie. And then over the course of the years, I read different bits from J. Hewitt McKenzie. And then uh, during that time, I, I read about the Van Allen belts. And I observed, curiously, that the dimensions are exactly the same. Very, very strange coincidence. So what it means to be a Neo-Swedenborgian is that we are at the ground floor of a vast existence. Not only vast, but eternal. So we are at the beginning of an eternal existence, and this existence begins here on the surface of the earth, and then as you move on, you move up through the astral realms, from, from the lowest and most base to the highest and most profound. And from there it appears, once you're at the top, you can then... Uh, travel the galaxy and I and it only it only makes sense that from there from after ascending the levels of the galaxy you can travel the entire universe <sighs> and so as crazy as it may seem to be a Neo-Swedenborgian means to be a galactic and even a universal Explorer, meaning an explorer of the universe. Thanks. See ya.